Greece received a financial lifeline today when the head of the European Central Bank increased its emergency lending to Greek banks. Julia Chatterley reports from Frankfurt. All we wanted to hear from Mario Draghi today at the European Central Bank meeting was, is he going to give more liquidity to the Greek banks? Well, we got the answer very, very quickly, yes. Thanks to the vote in Greece last night and, of course, the financing arrangements, at least in the short term, which will allow Greece to make that bond repayment to the European Central Bank on Monday the 20th. So very good news in that sense. A lot of rumours swirling about whether or not the banks now will be able to open on Monday. Sources close to the central bank telling us be very cautious at this stage. It's just too early to tell. Similar story as far as capital controls are concerned. We know how long they've been in place in countries like Cyprus. Two years in that sense. So also very difficult to tell. Mario Draghi was asked about what he thought about the talks between countries like Germany and others about whether or not Greece could leave the Eurozone on a temporary basis. He had some harsh words to say on that too. This union is imperfect. Is, and being imperfect is fragile, is vulnerable, and uh, doesn't deliver. That's the very least. It doesn't deliver all the benefits that it could if it were to be completed. And so the future now should see decisive steps on... Uh, further integration. He was forced to admit it's not up to the European Central Bank to decide whether or not Greece leaves or stays in the Eurozone. But he did say, look, at no point throughout the last few months have we ever believed Greece would leave. So perhaps some very strong words, coded message there to Germany that still suggests Greece should or could leave at some point in the future. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Chatterley in Frankfurt.